we are back with part two, part two of the Get to Know Me, Get to Know To Me. Okay, so this is part two as you as you have heard, as you can see at the bottom of the screen in the title below, that this is part two of my Get to Know Me slash the She Kive trailer. Okay, this is my now second video. Um, and if if you are if you're only catching me now, if you're only coming in on part two, I need to stop you right in your tracks and be like, go back to the first video. Go, just go back to the first video. It should be the link will be somewhere down below. You just need to pause this video, click on that video, watch that video, and then come back and watch this this video. You know, you don't actually exit. The, just open another tab, do whatever you need to do, and just watch that video first and get to know what I'm all about over there and see what we're doing in this video, okay? D don't watch two and then one. I, I Don't go backwards. You can only move forward. So you just got to go back first to move forward and take this entire journey with me the right way, okay? So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to get into the first question of the second part of this Get to Know Me. Um, so, this question, easy and fun question, okay, McChicken burger or fold over? Um, this person knows that I love McDonald's. I don't know why some people hate McDonald's. I love McDonald's. It's really bad. And I think it has something to do with the fact that we are going to university, it's the Rhodes University in Grahamstown in the Eastern Cape. And unfortunately there's no McDonald's there. I know, it, it makes zero sense. The only McDonald's closest to Grahamstown is the one in Port Elizabeth. And that's like a two hour drive and you know, you're not going to always go to Port Elizabeth. But so, ever since I came back, um, okay, which has been now, it's now it's been, it's been two years since I've been out of varsity. So, I really have no excuse as to why I like McDonald's as much, but I do, I love their food. And between these two, uh, make chicken burger or a fold over, I'm going to take the fold over. The fold over is so filling. Like, I can have half of it and eat the rest later if I'm not that hungry. If I'm really hungry, I will finish the whole thing. Like, I will devour it. So, and I feel like it's the... It's the healthier option of the two. I know McDonald's is not is not healthy. I know. Don't come for me in the comments and say, McDonald's is not healthy. None of them are healthy. I'm just saying, between those two, I feel like the foldover is healthier because it's the chicken is grilled. It's not like it's deep fried, whatever they do with the man. It's not like it's got crumbed, whatever, you know. It's it's grilled. So I feel like I feel like it's a it's a healthier option, okay? I'm sure it's got less calories. Mm. So Yes, that was a nice easy question. Okay, so this question says, what do you think your obsession with Joey, a random Instagram baby, says about you? Okay, so Joey is this little Korean baby. Um, she's Korean and she also part Japanese and I think Chinese as well. Um, from America, she lives in um, California with her parents and she became internet famous because when she was a baby her mom was taking photos of her while she was sleeping in these costumes and she would sleep right through it sometimes she would wake up and but not ever cry i think she was just a generally happy baby and um, she's almost two now she'll be two in april and it's not an obsession i love babies i love children and i thought this was the most cutest thing i have ever seen and i have been following her ever since and it's kind of been a little bit sad but still really like exciting to see her grow up and to see her learn new things you know um to recognize herself in pictures so i think what you know the question says what do you think my obsession with joey is not an obsession what it says about me i think what it says about me is that i love what's good in the world because there's just so much bad in the world there's so many things that are going wrong in this world and here is this little beam of light in the form of this baby who's on Instagram sleeping away in a Thor costume or a Sia costume or a little mermaid costume. I think for me it is that I love to see what's good in the world and focus on that because there's just so much bad. So I think that's what it says about me. And if you guys don't know who Joey is, I will leave the link below. 
So you better go to her Instagram page and if you love babies and your babies in costumes, I think you will absolutely love Joey and become a Joey fan like me. Yeah, I like this question. It's not an obsession. I'm just a fan. It's not an obsession. Obsession makes it sound bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, next question. Okay, so this is another baby related question. Pick only one. Dogs or babies and why? Um, yes, I love dogs. I love dogs. I've never owned a dog and I have my mother to thank for that, which is very sad. One day I will own a dog. I specifically love pugs and French bulldogs. They are so cute. Don't come in the comments and say pugs are not cute. Just, just, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. That, that's what the, that's how the saying goes, okay? So, dogs or babies, I'm going to have to pick babies. Um, and it's because... Both of them are so cute. Both of them have this innocence about them that I just love. Um, but becoming a mom one day is something that's very, very important to me. I really hope that I will have a wonderful family one day. Um, so I'm going to have to pick babies. This was kind of hard, but, you know, I don't think... Yeah, I think, yeah, it's kind of hard, but also kind of easy. Because being a mom one day is really important to me. So I pick babies. Um... And they're so cute, you know the little chubby ones with all their rolls. I love them, they are so adorable, so adorable. Yes, cool. Mm. Okay. Tell us about the time you met Obama. And this person is about Barack Obama. I didn't get to meet Michelle Obama, which is really sad, and I hope one day I will. Michelle, if you're watching, hey, holla at you, girl, holla at you, girl. Um, I became... I don't want to say a fan, an admirer of Barack Obama when he first ran for President of the United States of America. I'm about, I was in grade 9 and everybody around me knew how much I was taken by this amazing man, this amazing black man and how he was running for the highest title in the land of America which had never been done before and he became the first black president of America and obviously that's super inspire, inspiring, my goodness, you know, of course he's such an inspiring person, so I've always admired him, and a friend of mine from high school, this was back in 2013, a friend of mine in high school, he was coming to South Africa, um, I have no idea what he was going to talk about, I can't remember at this moment, um, but he was, he was going to the University of Johannesburg, um, Johannesburg's campus in Soweto, and he was going to have, like, give some speech, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, so my friend invited me because she's like, I know you love him, so you have to be there. And cool, we waited for him. We waited. Then he came on stage. He did his thing. Questions and answers kind of thing. When he was going off stage, he came to my side of the, of, 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 of the, of the hall. And I was the third row from the back. And now he's shaking people's hands. I'm like... Yes, I want to shake your hand. I need to shake your hand. And I was like, I love you, Obama. And he was like, I love you guys too. I mean, I feel like he was saying that to me specifically, and I love you guys. I feel like he was just, you know, because I'm the one who said it. So I feel like he was responding just to me. And I got to shake his hand. And I think, I think he almost had a heart attack because this was, it's meeting one of your role models. This was definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I'm so happy that I got to meet him. His hand, very soft, nice firm handshake, but it's very soft. And I just, I just remember that, like, I'm like, I can do anything. I can do anything I want to because I've shaken Barack Obama's hand. That's how I feel about him. So that was very exciting. It's, it's, I, I tell anybody, anybody who wants to listen, you bring up Barack Obama, I'm like, hey, you know, I met him. We, we homies now. We, he's a boy. Oh, busy, he's my boy. We, we still, I will talk to him and be like, you know, how, how's it going? You're not being president anymore. What you up to now? Okay, we see you in these streets with Michelle. Hey. You know, so, yeah. This is, this, is a, this is a good question. I really like this question. It was definitely one of the highlights of my almost 25 years of life. So, good question. But let's answer, let's answer, let's answer this one. Um, oh, okay. This one is another, this is another... But personal this question, but this person knows what I'm 
what I've gone through, what the struggle has been, okay? So the question is, what's the weirdest medical condition you've been to hospital for? Um, unfortunately, back in 2013, I suffered from Steven Johnson syndrome. And if you don't know what that is, go and Google it. I do advise viewers who are sensitive to um, certain images, so to maybe graphic images, don't do that. Um, but if you are not and you're curious as to know what that is, you can Google what Steven Johnson syndrome is. Um, it's basically, it was an allergic reaction I had to medication that I was on. And she my doctor felt really bad, you know, this was the medication she had prescribed to me. But she has, that she already prescribed to other patients. And, and you know, she did know this, this was a possible side effect, but it's one of those one in 100,000 kind of side effects. And unfortunately, I happened to be that one. And, she, you know, she felt terrible. Um, but it was basically like I'm burning from the inside out. Your skin, whatever holds your, the, like, I don't know how many layers of your skin are, but whatever's holding it together, it starts to separate. Um, and it's, it really um, affects your mucous membrane, which is mostly your mouth and other areas of your body. And I remember getting a blister on my bottom lip, and it just progressed from there. I think the whole thing was about three weeks. Um, so I remember going to the emergency room at one point because I got a lot of blisters on my lips and then I started getting a few like red, just red spots on my hands and they're like, you need to see a dermatologist. We think it's Stephen Johnson syndrome, but you need to see a dermatologist for that to be confirmed. And the next day I did see a dermatologist, she did confirm it's that, it's like the early onset of that. So she gave me steroids and potassium tablets while on the steroids. And you know, she obviously stop taking medication and just stay on, on the steroids and this and we'll see how it clears up. Um, and I think I was home for a couple of days up until, it, but it just got more and more worse. Hospital, and then I had to go through all of that in the hospital and that was very difficult. Um, Stephen Johnson syndrome can happen to anybody. Um, it, it is rare, yes, but it can happen to anybody. And... I know there was a lady who was in the hospital before me and one of the nurses told me she was in the hospital be, um, because she was allergic to antibiotics, something we all take when we're feeling very ill. And she had to have a skin graft, it was really that bad. It, it can get worse and you can die from it. Um, so yes, um, if you want to know more about Stephen Johnson syndrome, just Google it. And yeah, it was it wasn't something nice. Um, I don't mind really talking about it. It's something kind of personal, but I don't. I might. I rather educate people on something that I had never heard of until I it happened to me. So rather you know than don't know. Okay, yeah. Let, let's find a like more light-hearted question. Hey, let's find a more light-hearted question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Top tips for sleeping on the train without missing your stop. Um, I take the car train. I live in Pretoria with my mom. And I work in Rosebank, which is in Johannesburg. And I am not a morning person whatsoever. Um, so I definitely take a young nap on the train. Um, top tip. Um, if you don't trust yourself, you know, wow, I fall asleep and I can fall asleep quite deeply. You may want to just... Tap the person next to you and be like, hey, can you please, where are you getting off first? Oh, you're getting off at Park. Okay, I'm getting off at Sanson. Um, will you just tap me on the shoulder when you're at Sanson so I can just wake up and get on, if you don't trust yourself. Second tip is, don't fall asleep too deeply. I mean, you cannot be dreaming on the car train because you will get on at Hatfield, go all the way to Park, and go all, all the way back to Hatfield if you start dreaming while you're sleeping on the train. Um, another tip is, Wear your sunglasses. I wear my sunglasses. It doesn't matter if it's come rain or come sunshine, I will wear my sunglasses. People put on me on the train, you know. And if you see me on the hot train, say, hey girl, I saw your YouTube video. I was like, wow, she's great, she's nice, she's funny. And I'll be like, hey. Cool. What do you think is your most lovable quality? That's difficult. That is very difficult. Um, I want to see my sense of humor. Um, 
It's either you love it or you hate it. I'm not going to lie. So if you love my sense of humor, you hate it. It is, it is always dramatic. It is always extra. I am. I just go, you know. So I want to say it's my sense of humor. And if not my sense of humor, it has to be, I think, my loyalty. I am quite loyal to a fault. Um, you know, I mean, if I consider you a really good friend, I'm going to have your back no matter what. Um, but I will also tell you when you're wrong. And I think that's what loyal friends should always do. So, what would you rather live without? Eyeliner or lipstick? As much as I love eyeliner, I always do a cat eye. I look very dramatic or not dramatic. Cat eye, winged eyeliner, whatever you want to call it. That is my signature look. Um, I'm going to say I'll, I'll go without the eyeliner because this lipstick... I think I had a makes or breaks the look, you know. Um, I feel like I could substitute the eyeliner with a dark eyeshadow if I really wanted to, you know, give my eyes some definition. But um, there's no substitute for lipstick. It there really isn't. Lip gloss doesn't come close unless it's really highly pigmented. But, you know, there's no substitute for lipstick. So I would definitely have to pick the lipstick over eyeliner. As much as I love eyeliner, I'm going to pick lipstick because... Lipstick really can make or break a look and it's it's there's so many colors to choose from you know So I'm definitely gonna have to stay with the lipstick and say deuces to the eyeliner That was a good question next question Who is your beauty icon? This is kind of tough. I don't feel like I have a beauty icon I mean the people I kind of look up to when it comes to Beauty and style, but let's not do style, let's just say beauty. Um, they're not necessarily celebrities. Um, like, you know, they're they they other YouTube vloggers, you know. My current favorite at the moment is Miss Jackie Anna, aka Jackie O. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Jackie, 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 Jackie. You guys have to subscribe to her channel. I'm going to leave the link below. I know that's my first video, but I'm going to put you guys on to something that I feel like I was sleeping on. I only subscribed to her channel about two months ago. And I'm like, what? I've been missing out on this? Really? I've been missing out on this? This is amazing. Her makeup is amazing. Her content, like in general, it's not just makeup, you know, but she is definitely known for that. But I love her makeup looks. I think they're really beautiful. Um, she's definitely somebody who gets it right. I mean, she slays with all her wigs. And she also slays with her natural hair, you know. I mean, so I love, love that. Um, if I had to pick a celebrity beauty icon, I think it would definitely be Rihanna. I want to say Beyonce because, yes, I'm a part of the Bay Hive. But there have been some moments I'm like... Beyonce, what you doing? Like, I think what's that one? Subscribe button. And if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. You guys are going to be so excited for the next video that's coming up. It's going to be beauty related, of course. So you need to hit the subscribe button to see what's going to happen next, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys are going to become a part of this wonderful chic hive that I have. Bye.